Good evening all, it's uh, Tuesday evening, 10.15 to be exact. Um, I've just got back from Mum's, my brother is uh, house sitting, so she actually dropped both of us off in town tonight. She picked us both up. Uh, I can't remember if I'd already said in a previous video, but my brother is house sitting for his boss while they are away on vacation. Because I've got cats and dogs that need looking after, so... Bro is doing that, so I'll probably cycle up and go and see him tomorrow for a change. And if he wants, he can come up and see me Thursday. Anyway, I'm just... Waiting for this computer to do what it's got to do. Now... Biggles has had one... Well, he's having a huge... Massive clean out. There's so much cycle stuff come my way and still to come my way. <laughs> uh, seriously, I think he actually threw got to be 20 wheels my way today both mountain bike and road bike and hybrid wheels that's why I've got three down here um, we didn't do one of his um, cupboards which is full of these wheels so might get done another day I don't know why he's having this clean out but he is so I've got this back wheel it is alloy um, but the problem is it's silver and the reason I bought these two black ones back are because they're quick release. So I'm hoping that these wheels will come apart. Bear with me a second. I'm hoping that um, it's quick release. I'm actually going to take off because part of it's seized. So I'm just going to take the spin ball out and skewer it out. I think with a bit of WD-40 and some brute force, that lever might unseize, but yeah, who cares if it doesn't. I am hoping, because uh, that type of axle on an alloy rim that I've got won't fit in the front forks. The um, bit there isn't big enough. So I'm hoping that uh, quick release will fit. So, shall we have a look? <laughs> Might have to spread the forks a little, um, but it should. Um, and what I can do, if I have to, and I don't have a pair of wheels. I'm actually going to hold off till I next go to Mum's. Uh, he might actually give out some other rims. Because I could actually sell this rim on eBay quite easily. It's a Mavic. And he did actually say to me, you know, if I can make a bit of money on eBay, then that's fine. So, But it wasn't just a shed load of wheels and tyres that I got given. I think he's just fed up that he's got all that stuff there that he's not doing anything with because he's doing other things actually and selling other things. There's my meds. It's not very interesting. I've got all this lot as well. That's still not all because I've got a box. I haven't got anything. Um, I've got this box of bits through here, which is probably going to be eBay stuff as well, some of it. But I've got a plastic crate longer than this, full of um, assorted seat posts. So I'm not short of seat posts either, and I have got a few sitting in there. And I've got one on here that I'm going to try on eBay. It's a... Uh, BBB brand, I don't know, it might sell for a couple of quid. Not in too bad condition. I've never seen one with um, that style before. That's it. In here, 
I have a green bell. <laughs> Better bike info. Mm, that actually works quite well. And, uh, I've got shed loads of these. We haven't even gone through his drawers of brake blocks and other bits and pieces yet. He's got a box of reflectors there. He might even let me have that. I don't know. Yeah, I've got shitloads of these V brakes in here. I've got these. They're going on my Schwinn. They're already spoken for. Uh, an absolute bucket load of these in here. And a few of these. So I may even change them on my um, Claude Butler yet. I don't know. Uh, look at that, the restoration project out front, there's some decent levers in here, there's all sorts in here, some of them are, have actually still got brake blocks in, but because this is stuff that I would use quite frequently, that's why I bought this box home, um, there's a few more vintage parts I've got in the workshop at Mum's, that's where most of the wheels are, let me put these few back. Hopefully that one will bolt in the back of this. Uh, I may actually have to splay the rear forks a little bit to do it. In uh, uh, here we've got some vintage handlebars. I might just stick them on 99p start. I mean, hell, even if I get 99p, I'm still in pocket, aren't I? I didn't pay nothing for them. <laughs> Couple of, um, chain guards. They're rusty, but there's no rust holes in them. So if someone wanted to, they could easily clean them up and repaint them, but obviously they're not worth as much as ones in good condition. But, uh, yeah, let me go there. In a moment. I'm going to sit on the floor for this. Oh, I'm sweating like a pig. Right, light bulb at Mum's old fridge freezer. It was a General Electric fridge freezer. Um, it's an American company, American style fridge freezer combo. Fucking huge, fucking big, and a pain in the ass to get in and out of the kitchen. Well, I've just never seen one of these sorts of bulbs in a refrigerator before, so I had to rescue that before it went down the dump. Uh, what have we got in here? Got some bike saddles. I've got this old plastic one. Now, I know someone that wanted a plastic one for a BMX. I've got this, which is a Brooks. Uh, that might end up on eBay as well. Possibly. I don't know. This, I don't actually know why this is in the box, because I left that out deliberately, because it's, uh, shit. <laughs> That's rubbish. Um, unless I picked it up, forgetting. A couple of, uh, calipers in here. A little bit rusty, but I'll soon clean them up and do something with them. I'm going by this bit here, they came off an old shopper. I usually put these um, bits on a shopper bike to restrict the steering because if you steer too sharply on a shop you'll bugger off it. Been there, done that. <laughs> um, there's a few decent seats. There's this one which I think I might put on my racer through there. Uh, old brake cable, I think. There's another saddle. Oh, there's no clamp on that one. It doesn't matter, I've got plenty. There's some sponges and scars and things for cleaning. A couple more saddles in here. Mertens. Hmm, that's an old style saddle. Maybe I'll put this one on that bike. Although that is quite heavy and I want to go light, don't I? This one is a lot lighter. I'll save that old seat. An old kid's bike seat. 
And what we got in there? Uh, I was going to say a seat pole, but it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really look like one. Pedal, some vintage hair clippers. <laughs> I bought a selection of seat posts back because, well, they're always handy. Extension for a threadless steerer tube. You just bolt that on top and then uh, put this on the top of that. Look at this old school BMX stem. That would probably sell on eBay for people that do up the old school BMXs. And look at this an old school seat post for a BMX, the bent seat post. Who remembers these? God, I'm just one of those nages. <laughs> Old Bell. Racing bike stem. Steel one. Not many people want those because they're steel. That's something that'll go on eBay. Some more of them clipper things. Yeah, a light bracket. Random light bracket. Stand. And... I have got a friggin' clue. It actually just looks like a random piece of scrap metal, to be honest. New inner tube. Yeah, so... This isn't everything, like I said. He, um, he had other things that he needed to do, so he couldn't really do everything then and there. There, then, that. Uh, right there and then. Oh, I didn't show you what was in the tin, did I? I don't even know what's in the tin, to be honest. Well, I know I put a load of small bits in there. There's a lot of um, rod brake parts in here. I could put them up as a job lot. Someone might want to stir me out a three-speed sticker there. There is. Somewhere. A lever. Look. I've got pipe adapters. Pump adapters rather than here, not pipe adapters. I don't know what that is, but yeah, there's lots of, um, there's the guides for the horse or the stirrups for rod brakes. That's not too bad, but like I said, I could just, uh, job lot all of this, because I'm not going to need any of it. I'm just one of these that won't say no to free stuff. <laughs> What's that? That's another stirrup bracket. And another one. And a weird looking one. Oh, that's all that's in there. <laughs> Random shit, basically. That I took out the bottom of a plastic tub that he wanted to keep. Fuck me, I'm so The fucking water's running off of me, and I haven't done that anything yet, apart from hike these items up the stairs, and that is it. Oh. Like you said, if I go over Sunday, he'll, he'll do some more in the other areas. Um, cause he doesn't really do a lot with mountain bikes anymore. No, because he used to get... Well, he used to look for the decent ones that come in and he used to sell them and then he went on to the vintage bikes but even that is slow he might get one or two every couple of months and that is it um, which isn't really a problem because if you see what, how many three speed wheel hubs he has and uh, um, aluminium Handlebar stems, etc., etc. In short, <laughs> dear me. So I'm hoping I'm not see if he's just got a standard alloy front wheel, so I can pair it with this back wheel, or even a black. Oh, actually. I've got black rear ones in that cupboard. But because I wanted to pair them, I didn't get them out of the cupboard. 
But then again, I didn't think I was going to be given what I was given today. I knew he was going to have a sort out, but I really was not expecting the sheer volume of stuff, to be honest. I mean, he's putting all sorts of stuff up for sale as well. He's just really... I don't know, it's been rumoured that he wants to um, hook up the caravan he lives in and just move somewhere. So, I don't know if that's his reason. Alright, um, I actually think a nice set of black rims would go nicely in that frame. Shut up. I've got five messages, bloody in hell. It's nice that you offer me computer bits, but you're yeah, quite far away that I can't actually get to you. <laughs> Right, so I was just reading a message from a friend of mine there. Okay, and Messenger is extremely fucking glitchy! Oh, <laughs> that was a nice glitch as well. <laughs> It's only that one that's a uh, right. Um I can't think of anything else to talk about or chat about now, so I think I've got to leave the video there, so let's say good night Nemo. Good night from Nemo, we'll say, rather, I don't know. I was gonna do something then but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, anyway, good night and uh I'll talk to you all tomorrow. And hopefully I'll have some good news regarding these wheels. Hopefully, I can make a pair fit. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.